This next poem is called Compulsion. I want to give you a bit of background information first. It was inspired by when I was I had experience living in Russia and on the train there was a conductor that was dead in, in the trees and um, the train just whizzed by and we saw um, this dead man's body. This poem takes place in Africa but yet the speaker's mind is reminiscing about this memory of the death in Russia. You might need to know a few background items for this, such as babushka is a Russian name for um, an old granny. Okay? And Nitsky Novgorod is a city in Russia. Pomegranate seeds you know, are uh, red little fruit seeds. And a karate is a, tr a tree in Africa. It's used to make karate butter to smooth the skin. Compulsion. My lips pull on a mango pit in Benin, while my mind traces an orange sea buckthorn studded coast to Russia. Here in Africa, I assemble rolling Russian pomegranate seeds. The white chalk cliffs pierce the rose hips by the Baltic Sea, raining in the rolling, juicy kernels sold from the mittenless babushkas hawking at metro stations. To step into another skin is why I travel. The unfolded land, opening then dropping, holds me with the whistle of the train to Nitsky Novgorod. In this dry land, with mango in my mouth, raspberries and beets rupture into shreds of clothing against pines while the train went by. In the torn uniform, and the prior impact of iron against flesh, still moist years later. Death tore through me, and I cannot walk away. Wet cobblestones and blue clay deepen my foothold. But I am here in Africa to reach upwards, through dangling mimosa flowers yellow and white and purple, and scalding vultures. Over this red soil, a whistle, a tatter, a speaking. A crackling comes over the land sweep, traveling the Atlantic. Under the karate's green flesh, the watchman core flashes by, while his ribboned flesh hangs in the pines. My eyes close over his turned body. I hear the gravel roll while the birch trees snap. I hear a language that I still hear, how moving motion can lead to an end, how compulsion is death, how inside the fruit there is the fall, Motion's cessation, my vertical growth. I'm going to read to you the poem, Because Bones Are Solid Permanent. This poem was inspired by a Burkinabe shaman, shaman woman named Sabonfo Somme and her book, The Spirit of Intimacy, Ancient Teachings in the Ways of Relationship. I was intrigued how she mentions healing ceremonies that a community can carry out to bring couples together. In this poem, I create my own healing ceremony. Because bones are solid, permanent. I call you into the ash circle, wanting honesty, forgiveness. Sit across from me, close. Squeeze your fear tight. So tight your courage wins and you can only speak the truth. I am flush with the fire. I've chosen to plant my legs here, even to the point of flesh melting, leaving nothing but my skeleton. Because with the weight of boulders, I want to be so close to you, no air can come between, nor grain of sand. And this is why I need to hear the truth even if it's betrayal and deceit. I'm going to read you a poem about my Slovenian heritage. It's called, In My Blood I Carry You. It was inspired by listening to the Slovenian Hour on the Cleveland radio. There are a couple Slovenian terms that might be useful for you to know. Petitza is a nut roll, krofa, is a donut, and flancita is fried dough akin to elephant ears. Lake Bled is mentioned. On Lake Bled, there's an island that has a, 
church on it. It's very famous for people to go and visit. Lastly, Mount Triglav is mentioned. It's the highest mountain in Slovenia. In my blood, I carry you. The accordion strikes chords of my ancestry. I normally do not listen to it, but tonight polka is on the local radio on the Slovenian hour, and I have nothing better to do than cook and listen. The accordion sound urges my feet to hop, though I stand still stirring cookie dough. Polka is an idea pulsating in my veins, lighter than the Slovenian sausage, potica, krafa, and flancita circulating in my blood, ladening it with dangerous fat. The accordion invokes Lake Bled's white church on a small isle. The note of pilgrimage, pristine pilgrimage from Cleveland to Slovenia, from the sixth most polluted town in America to a country capped by the Alps, snow-rimmed even in summer, it vibrates silently in my bones. I want to see this country that still grows vertically, reaching new heights year by year, thanks to the African tectonic plate pushing it up. So Mount Triglav raises herself higher, slowly but surely. Like how cookie dough, eaten raw, spikes my blood sugar and raises my lips to smile at this Slovenian polka sound on a lone Saturday night. <laughs>